Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you an alternate ending to the Battle of Curry. If I, Fonga, had been in command and if the battle had been fought on a grassy plain instead of being in the middle of the desert. Nah, I'm just joking. Uh, Marcus, Marcus Crassus did what he could and yeah, poor guy. So anyway, I've brought to the field 5 units of legionary cohorts, gold, gold upgrades. Uh, one legionary first cohort where my general is on my right side, on right flank, uh, gold, gold upgrade. I've brought six units of Roman archers, uh, some poor bronze upgrades on them with bronze defense here and there, they're not too important. And three units of Roman calf, gold, gold upgrades. Right, my opponent is H, uh, is uh, Sparky of the HTR, HOJ clan. He's brought four units of Armenian heavy spearmen, silver, silver upgrades. Five units of archers, three upgrades on them, I can't tell which. Two units of horse archers, uh, three upgrades on them each, and six units of cataphracts, bronze bronze upgrades, two on e three on each wing, one horse archer unit on each wing, and his Armenian spearmen and archers bringing up his center. Right, his archers completely outclass mine, and as you can see, they're getting massacred. I'm bringing up more archers to the front to help out my frontline archers, but there's really not much they can do against five uh, foot archer units and two horse archer units, so they'll get properly mauled and shot to pieces by mashed arrow fire. Right, so my major concern in this battle was his cataphracts because he had 6 units of cataphracts and even if he only had say 3 units of cataphracts I would have been worried because Roman Cav sucks. But the reason why I brought them along is that they're historically accurate and Romans didn't have good cavalry so they had to rely on auxiliaries that were neither motivated or they were motivated. The Batavians are good but yeah. They didn't have good cavalry, full stuff. Right, my opponent, uh, Sparky, he sends his cataphracts, 3 units to my left wing, 3 units to my right wing, uh, his left, his right. So I uh, break off legionary cohorts and Roman cav to protect my flanks. I weaken my front line uh, to only 2 legionary cohorts to face off 4 Armenian spearmen. Bring my general reserve in the center where his legionary standard will inspire everyone and a reserve legionary cohort to back up my weak left flank. So, things aren't looking too good. My opponent has me pretty well surrounded. Archers bombarding me from the front. And I was th thinking, alright, this is what happened to Marcus Crassus at Carre. Will this be a repeat? And I was hoping it wouldn't be. I knew if I was going to carry this battle forward, I had to rely on my legionary cohorts to carry the day. I can't match Sparky's cavalry with anything. My archers are all but gone. So this can't be a missile battle, this can't be a cavalry battle. I have to make it an infantry battle somehow. But how do you trap cavalry? That's the main problem. Even cataphracts can run faster than infantry, so that yeah, that's always a problem. But I'm not too bothered by his archers, even though my archers are all but gone. Their bodies are piled up in front of my legionnaires. My legionnaires are tough and uh yeah, here my opponent charges his spearman forward. He's gonna phalanx charge my weak front line. They get peeled in the face, and here the battle begins. And here the battle begins. My bad. Begins. Bad English. Right, my opponent leaves his infantry flank open, guarded only by horse archers. I rush this unit of Roman Cav out and launch a very aggressive hammer and anvil strike on his heavy spearman. So, you get, so this heavy spearman unit routes very quickly. He sends his cataphracts around, uh, seeing that his front line is in trouble. He launches his horse archers forward to plug the hole, but Roman, uh, Roman Cav will beat them any day. So he makes a rush for my Cav. I pull my Cav back past my Legionnaires. Uh, they get snagged on my Legionary cohort, and I launch my men and surround his general. He envelops my Cav. I counter envelop, and I'm pulling these Legionnaires back to ward off my exposed flank. In the meanwhile, I'm launching Hammond and Anvil Strikes at his front lines and his front line is slowly crumbling unit by unit. This unit of cataphracts breaks. He's sending cataphracts to deal with my Roman Cav. They get caught on my legionnaires again. And this legionary cohort is now in trouble. They're going up against three units of cataphracts. So I need to deal with this pocket fast and quickly. So his general uh, kicks the bucket there. He launches his cataphracts in to rescue, but this pocket's already gone. He tries to wipe out my legionnaires here and changes his mind and charges his men in. My uh, Roman Cav uh, 
losing a lot of men, so I'm trying to get him out of there. His, in his infantry center has collapsed, he decides he's not getting anywhere, so he pulls out his calf back. I realize I'm losing too many calf, and the battle's getting too dispersed. I pull all my infantry back, so we have a brief breeding moment at this point in time, as we both withdraw and consolidate what remains of our troops. Right. All three of my Roman calf uh, are still in the fight, although they are seriously depleted. One has 8 youth men left, another has 13, and another has 16. So uh, there's not much left of my Roman calf who so heroically enveloped superior cataphract numbers. My legionnaires are quite intact apart from the two units on the right flank. So I'm expecting cataphract rushes on my right, on my weakened right flank. So I don't want this to turn into a shooting gallery where my men get picked off by archers. So I charge my legionnaires forward. He sends his heavy spearmen to stop them and they get peeled in the face for their bravery. And then they decide they're not so brave and run. Uh, another unit follows suit. They think they're brave until they get chucked with peeler and then they decide to run. So the rightmost unit of legionnaires is getting peppered by arrows and my opponent decides to uh, charge his cataphracts in there. I'm sending this unit to reinforce and my Roman calf, while his cataphracts are away, the Romans come out to play. So I charge my Roman calf forward, uh, supported by one legionary cohort, supported by several actually, and alone my Roman calf probably would have been overwhelmed, but combined arms against my entire legionary force, his archers melt away very rapidly. He sends his cataphracts in, but his archers are already gone. So he charges his uh, cataphracts into my legionnaires head on and I pour my legionaries in to prevent a breakthrough you need to bob down the cataphracts in a fist fight with massed infantry if you wanna stop them from tearing your infantry apart because they switch their mace attack and they're starting to rip through my legion alright here I know I need to flank his cataphracts again he's trying to close this gap with his archers and horse archers but my uh, horse, my roman calf managed to slip through a tiny gap and my roman my legionnaires hold the line I send my Roman calf to flank, and his cataphracts are surrounded, and there's a chain and masked route where everyone just runs after being surrounded. His cataphracts are massacred, his horse archers run, his archers run, everyone runs before the might of Rome. So here you can see where his cataphracts were surrounded and slaughtered, and it's just, there's just dead soldiers everywhere. Here was the spearmen legionary battle where my outnumbered legionaries took on superior. Armenian heavy spearmen and managed to overcome it with cavalry support. Here was where uh, his cataphracts fought with my Roman calf and my legionnaires and I'm glad I managed to come on top of that. So here he's just sending his cataphracts and pestering me. It, this pretty much turns into a mopping up operation after that. So I consolidate my forces. Uh, he has some scattered archer units and cataphract units left. Not much they're gonna be doing. There's not much they can really do to damage my legion as apart from kill a few of them. So I'm gonna fast forward to the result screen now. All right, Sparky uh, deployed 1,237 men, killed 757, had 246 men remaining. I killed 100. Uh, I deployed 110, killed 968 and 361 men remaining. So, the real heroes in this battle were my Roman calf. They performed excellently against superior cataphracts. So I want to thank Sparky for this good battle, and see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy.